What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. The 6th of April, we're taking a look at ArcBlock this morning. Ticker symbol ABT USDT. This is on tradingview.com. Gate.io is the chart data here, the price data. Decent day yesterday, guys. We had a update 8.38%. After a little bit of indecision over on the 4th of April, the 5th of April, nice big day. Where did we close yesterday? Well, if you've been following these videos, you should be paying attention. Above 211 was a solid close, guys. A very solid breakout with the nice confirmation yesterday with that strong close at 223. So far today, it looks like we have an inside day, which means we did not create a new high or a new low. Looks like today's high 228, yesterday's high 229. So, yep, inside day today, we are also still above 211. Very nice price action to see. A little bit of uh, resist, a uh, little bit of resistance for just about two days at the two, uh, 211, and then, like I said, we are, uh, are above it, still above it, and then the next level which we did not quite hit yet, uh, got close at 231. That's our uh, area of resistance. So we're just hanging out in between our 211 and our 231 uh, purple price levels here on the chart. We are very close. We've got to get above 231, obviously, to breaking out to a uh, new recent high here. So that's going to take us above the 239 all the way over in the left-hand side of your screen. That's the beginning of this consolidation going back to tw uh, February 23rd. So also we want to keep an eye on that high. So if you're new to this channel, welcome. Thanks for watching. And if you've been around a while, we've been talking about Arc Block, One of many we've been talking about for uh, a couple weeks now. We are in a couple handle here. We have our cup, we have our handle, a little bit of a V bottom, so not ideal, but you know, not everything's perfect in the markets, especially the cryptocurrency markets. So we have a breakout, guys. The breakout would be right here. So you take the high of the the cup in within this pattern. So that would be our date would be the 28th of March. The highs are 208. We're trading at 215, so we have a breakout. We got a breakout actually on the 3rd of April, so just a couple days ago we got the breakout. We have a price target for this cup with handle, so you take the depth of the, the cup. So we'll take the highs and we'll take the lows of the cup, and that takes us up to three dollars and six cents so we have a three dollar target just based on this cup with handle pattern pattern for arc block for this abt usdt uh, gate io chart 306 we are currently at 215 i have a whole cluster of price uh, right now they're all price targets above the market going all the way from 289 uh, down to just below, uh, just above where we're currently trading at, at 223. So you could see a lot of uh, volatility in this area because there's so many price targets above the market, uh, price targets, and they can act as resistance before continuing higher for a period of time. We don't know how long that will be. But there are so many of them here, it can really uh, kind of hold the price back. Uh, but anyways, based on this pattern, 306 is the target. That would put the price up from where we're currently at. We have 306. So you're basically at a 42% move higher based on this cup with handle pattern. So if you're long this and you're long and you're bullish on the markets, you think Arc Block and Bitcoin are heading higher. Well, something I would keep my eye on is that 306 level. But me knowing how these levels work, I also would not ignore these price levels here. And if we started to see some up movement, down movement, some volatility, um, maybe some resistance for a period of time before really continuing up to that 306, that would, 
I wouldn't be surprised because, like I said, there's a whole cluster of these price levels here. So keep your eye on that 306. It's very nice to see we got that strong close yesterday, especially above the breakout, especially above one of my levels at 211. Uh, so far today, it's just quiet. Everything looks good. Keep our eye on the next level above the market, which would be 231, as well as that 306 if we start to approach that. Above that, we have the fibs laid out uh, within this pattern, the swing high and the swing low. And the first area for that is the 1618 fib up there at $3.31, which obviously takes you above the 306 cup with handle target. And then, you know, you just continue on if you're if you're still bullish for whatever the reason is at that time, uh, and you think price is going to be moving higher than the 1618, higher than the 306 cup with handle target, well, you have the 2618 up there at 561. And they continue on. If you know the fibs, you know they continue on. You have the 3618 up there at $9.51. And then you have my all time targets right now, which are between $8 to ten dollars for arc block abt usdt for this chart the gate io chart eight to ten dollars and the 3618 fib at 951 falls at the upper end of that range so let me know your thoughts on arc block let me know your thoughts on this cup with handle are you long are you bullish on arc block will it hit 306 we're going to drop over to bitcoin right now don't forget to let me know your thoughts down in the comments on Arc Block. So Bitcoin right now, we're in a little bit of an area here of concern. We have the pullback here that took place. We have the higher low on the 20th. We have a lower high on the 27th. We have a higher low that took place. Look at it was either the third, let's see, 64,500. 64,500 or 64,500, uh, the higher low on the third. We have not yet printed another higher high. We need to print another higher high because if this thing cannot, and this is, the well, it, right now it is a lower high. If we start to roll over here, this leg down can be fast. It could be nasty. It can be red. It's not going to be well for the rest of the markets. You got a little, what looks to be like a little uh, head and shoulders pattern here. It's not perfect, but it's something to keep your eye on. And if we start to break lower, uh, this right leg down, this swing lower can be nasty and take the rest of the cryptocurrency market with it, um, as most of you already know. So what we want to see is we want to see a breakout higher. We really want to get above the 71,335 level. That's basically where all these candles here found resistance. It's one of my price levels. And that would take us into another higher high. So we would have the higher low, which is in place. We need to see a higher high. And then uh, not too much further up from that would be 73,494 for Bitcoin. So... We don't want to undercut this low here on the 3rd of April. We do want to take out the highs there right around 71,335. And then obviously the all-time highs at uh, the, re the level is 73,494. So just, you know, things are looking quiet right here, which is a concern. Um, but, you know, if we start to see some momentum pick up to the downside and support's not coming in at, you know, 6632 or even right down there right around the 64, 375 level. Um, just be careful because we could see a nasty drop. We have a lot of important lows that we don't want to take out on the left-hand side of our chart. Uh, one being over here on the 3rd of April. We have another over here on the 22nd of March. We have another over here on the 20th of March. Those are all important levels. We don't want to see them broken. If that's the case, I mean, you know, who knows how far we will drop here, maybe back down to the mid 50 thousands. So higher prices, we'll see if it happens. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Keep things in check, both to the upside and to the downside. Know what's possible in both directions so you are not caught off guard, caught holding the bag, as they say.
you are not yet subscribed, go ahead and do so. Appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Good luck on Arc Luck. Good luck here in Bitcoin. Let's see what happens over this weekend. Take care.